Did you recently get engaged? Maybe this Christmas? Or maybe this New Year's Eve? Or maybe it was a classic and on Valentine's Day? Truth is, it doesn't matter when you got engaged. The fact is, congratulations! Woo! Well, I have five tips for you. And I'm Allie with Alley Cat Photography, and I've been a wedding and boudoir photographer for 10 years. And I am here to help you. So stay tuned. My number one must-do tip for engaged couples is, if you can go to a bridal show or a bridal expo, do it. This is the most perfect way for any engaged couple to get help planning their wedding day. Getting to go to a bridal expo will expose you to so many professional wedding vendors. From beautiful wedding gown boutiques to your men's suit stores, your local wedding venues for your reception and possibly your ceremony, you also will find your top photographers, the very best DJs, as well as great caterers and cake designers. And the best part of that is you get to taste all the samples they will have there for you. So definitely go hungry. You will find people who decorate weddings. They will supply you with the chairs, the tables, the lighting, the tablecloths, and so much more. Don't even get me started on the amazing boutiques and flowers that will be there. The very best in the beauty industry, the top-notch salons, makeup artists, health and fitness. I've even seen a dentist there who whitens teeth. You will be able to walk around and gather all the information from the top wedding vendors in your area. Remember, wedding booths are expensive. So you can trust that the professionals there are serious about weddings and they mean business when it comes to planning a wedding. You will probably get to see a fashion show where you will partake in watching the latest fashions and wedding attire. Of course, the wedding dresses and suits, but also the mother of the bride and groom dresses, the very cutest flower girl dresses, and of course, the bridesmaids dresses. Bridal shows normally last three to five hours, so I definitely recommend wearing good shoes and taking your time and visiting every single booth. Don't forget, one of the best things about going to a bridal show, besides all the info and great food, is the giveaways and discounts you can cash in on. Most of the bridal shows that I have been a part of over the past 10 years have given away huge prizes after the fashion show at the end of the expo. So you definitely don't want to rush through and leave early. You want to stay because you will fill out that information in the beginning of the expo is what they will take to pull the winners. I've seen people win honeymoons, discounts on DJs, discounts on venues, free engagement sessions, or so much off when you book with them, free hair and makeup trials. So it's definitely not something you want to miss out on. Also, I created another video on the best five tips to going to a bridal show. So be sure to check that out as well. So we are moving right along into tip number two. And my second most important tip, we are going to be covering budgeting for your wedding. You're going to need to know how much you're willing to spend on your wedding day. I want you to sit down with your fiance and come up with a budget that works for both of you. If family members are helping you pay for the wedding, they should sit down with you and everyone go over what are the priorities for your wedding. I would dump out all of your bridal show information on the floor. I know this seems overwhelming, but it will not be hard. I do recommend that you do this alone or with your fiance or with someone helping you. I would put everything into categorized piles. For example, put all of your venues in one pile. Put all of your photographers in another pile. Caterers, florists, decorators, so on and so forth. After you have got everything categorized, then I would suggest that you set aside one day and email each pile, getting their pricing. That is, if you do not already have their pricing from the bridal show. 
Then I would add all of those emails into categorized folders. But I want to first mention that many vendors at bridal shows give discounts if you book the day of the show. And many of them will also continue that discount for a week, two weeks, maybe even a month after the bridal show if you mention that you were there. So be sure to put that in your emails when you are emailing all the vendors that you need. Also, if you are watching this video before a bridal expo, then having a budget and knowing what you are looking for at the bridal show, you will be ready to capitalize on some great savings. So go ready to book what you need for the day of the show. So now we're on to tip number three. My third and most important tip to helping you plan a wedding. Now that would have to be to help you settle on a season or a wedding date for your special day. I truly only recommend settling on a season or a month that you would like to get married at rather than settling on a certain wedding date. That is until you are sure of a church or a wedding venue that you will be able to get. This is because if your heart is set on a certain venue and they are booked for that day, you really need to be open to possibly changing your date or changing your wedding venue. I would also say to think about what flowers are available at that time of the year. That is also if you're wanting fresh flowers. Consider the weather if you're wanting an outside wedding. I'm a wedding photographer in the South, so we can do weddings outside just about all year. If you can stand the heat, that is. But it rarely gets so cold that you can't be outside. But you may not live in my area, so you should consider what the weather would be like. Now, are you wanting a spring wedding? Are you thinking about a summer wedding? Maybe a fall wedding is more for you. Or a winter wedding. Those are all beautiful seasons to get married at. As I said before, choosing a season is better than choosing a wedding date. Remember to keep your mind open to possibly changing it. And that is going to lead us into tip number four. I hope you are finding these tips helpful. If so, don't forget to subscribe and make sure to hit that like button. Now, tip number four is all about that location, location, location. It is time to decide where is the wedding going to be held. And it's the first thing you get to check off your list. After you've gone to a bridal show, you have done a wedding budget. You know what season you're looking for. It's officially time to buckle down and make that decision. If you have a venue that you absolutely must have, remember to keep that open mind. But if you don't have a do or die venue that you absolutely must have, here's a few tips to maybe help you make up your mind about a venue for your wedding day that does the most for you. First, you're going to need to know how many people can the venue hold. That will be a part of your budget is knowing how big your list of guests will be. Also, be sure to find out if they supply lighting, tables, chairs, tablecloths, plates. This will all be a huge help in saving you money. Do they have available parking for your guests or valet? Do they have an in-house catering or will you have to also get a caterer? Do they allow for you to bring in your own food? Also a way to save money. Is there an outside area for guests to go without leaving the venue, like a courtyard or a balcony? You may want to think about your guests who smoke, and you don't want them to have to leave an entire building just to have a smoke break. I hope that these tips help you make a decision on your venue. Once you find that place that meets everything you need, put down that retainer. Once that's done, my beautiful brides, your wedding is a go. It's official. Congratulations. You have a date. You have a venue, which leads us on to our next thing that we need to book. So we have finally made it to the very last tip for this video. 
Tip number five is going to be all about booking a photographer for your wedding day. This is the tip that I know the most about. And a shameless plug, if you're on the Gulf Coast, look up Alley Cat Photography. I'm a photographer in Pensacola. Now, back to the video. My first tip for you, especially if you're watching this before you go to a bridal show or before you start looking for a photographer, is to understand your style and what photos you like. Are you traditional? Do you like clean editing? Is it a classic look? Kind of like black and white. You know, it never goes out of style. Clean editing is absolutely beautiful. And you can't go wrong with it. Are you in to the film look that everybody loves right now? Photos that are edited as if they were being taken with a film camera. In 2017, this is the biggest trend going on right now, is the film look. So, if you like that, you look for photographers who offer that. Or, do you like the moody and romantic look? These are photos that are very big right now as well. They are very much like film, but they're darker, filled with this moody sense of a romantic feeling. They are also absolutely gorgeous. Or, do you like the light and airy look? These are bright and light and very happy photos, yet they look very normal and they're still very much a clean edit. They're just brighter and just have a happy feeling about them. There are many styles of photography and they are all beautiful, but you have to find the style that is you. Once you learn what style you are, then you can move on to finding a photographer of that style. And then once you find the photographers, you start emailing them about their prices. When it comes to art, it is subjective. And people charge what they think they're worth or they charge what their environment allows for. I would also be sure to find photographers who are dedicated to wedding photographers. You want to avoid fox photographers. I find that most photographers at bridal shows offer discounts on wedding collections if you book that day. Also, don't forget to ask, and this means all vendors, but especially I feel like photographers, if they offer any discounts. I feel like many photographers offer, at least in my town, military discounts. Maybe they might offer law enforcement or discounts for firefighters and EMTs. Just ask. You just might find one that offers a discount for you. Trust me, it doesn't offend us. At least it doesn't offend me. Every wedding vendor knows that you are trying to make everything perfect for your wedding day, but you're also trying to still be able to afford to eat we understand that. Weddings are expensive. Most of all, before booking a photographer, and this is probably the number one thing, that's why I'm ending this video with it. Don't forget that personality matters. You're going to spend six to possibly 10, maybe 12 hours with a wedding photographer, depending on the collection that you choose. So you want to choose somebody that you feel like you could get along with because this is a very stressful day for you, the bride. You want to have somebody who is there to move mountains for you. That's going to conclude this video. I am starting a wedding series, so there will be many more videos coming soon, including one on the five tips you need to know to go to before you go to a bridal show. So definitely hit that subscribe button, like and share this video if you know anybody who's getting married. No matter where you are, these tips can help you.